Uh, please stand. Breathe it. Bow your heads for a moment, silence.
Thank you. Please be seated. <clears throat> Good morning. I am Deputy Chief Steve Mortarelli. Today we gather to pay our respects to all those individuals who lost their lives on September 11th, 2001. We also gather to pay our respects to the loved ones they left behind. On that day, the world witnessed incredible acts of evil. It also witnessed incredible acts of courage, compassion, and the goodness of all mankind. The news of this terrible event spread around the world and we were all touched by what occurred. At this time, I would like to welcome Father Jim Watham to lead us in prayer. Oh God, we remember before you this day our brothers and sisters lost on September 11th 2001. We thank you for their example of courage and sacrifice. In your boundless compassion, console their families, friends, co-workers, and all who mourn their loss. Give us faith to see in death the gate of eternal life, so that in quiet confidence we may continue our journey and serve with honor dignity, and courage. Amen. At this time, I would like to welcome Assistant Chief Nat Brady to deliver the Firefighters Parade. When I am called to duty, wherever flames may rage, give me the strength to save a life, whatever be its age. Help me to embrace a little child before it is too late, or save an older person from the horror of that fate. Enable me to be alert and hear the weakest shout, and quickly and efficiently to put the fire out. I want to fill my calling and to give the best in me, to guard my every neighbor and protect his property. And if according to God's will, I must answer death's call, bless with your protecting hand, my family one and all. Amen. Officer Denny to deliver the police officer prayer. Policeman's prayer. Lord, I ask for your courage. Courage to face and conquer my own fears. Courage to take me where others will not go. I ask for strength. Strength of body to protect others and strength of spirit to lead others. I ask for dedication. Dedication to my job to do it well. Dedication to my community to keep it safe. Give me, Lord, concern for others who trust me with compassion for those who need me. And please, Lord, through it all, may I be at your side. I would like to invite Wellesley Retired Marine Veteran Pete Jones to the podium. It was a very sobering experience for me and all those who have visited the war on terrorism structure from the World Trade Center, which is permanently displayed at the American Heritage Museum in Hudson, Massachusetts. Today is a day of remembrance for those who died in the hands of the foreign terrorists. A day of remembrance for those who performed selfless acts to save others they did not know. A day of remembrance for our Wellesley neighbors who lost loved ones, whose lives were changed forever. Please join me in a prayer for all the those who give service to our country. Almighty God, who neither slumbers nor sleeps, protect, we pray, all those who at home or abroad, by land, by sea, or in the air, are serving this country, that they may be guarded from all perils. O Lord, we pray 
You have mercy upon all who have been wounded in our suffering. Though their families and friends be far away, let the grace be in their comfort. We pray that you restore them to blessings of health. Let us remember all those who have died in the service of our country. Unto God's gracious mercy we entrust them. They shall not grow old as we are left to grow old. The age shall not worry them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them forever. Amen. Father, last one for remembrance with As we go forth from this place, we remember those we lost. Neely Casey. Edmund Glazer. Patrick Quigley. John Cahill. We remember their talents, their goodness, and the light they brought into our lives for all too short a time. Even in grief, may we go forth with conviction and a sense of purpose. There remains so much hatred, so much violence, so much injustice. None of us on our own can solve these seemingly intractable problems, but we can each live with a sense of purpose. By our words and by our actions, may we sow the seeds of justice, mutual respect, tolerance of differences, and solidarity. May we choose to light a candle rather than to curse the darkness. And I close with a well-known benediction from the Hebrew Scriptures, the Book of Numbers. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. The firefighter bell signal of five, 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 five is a tradition of the last alarm. This signal is to call our lost brothers and sisters home. Today, we will ring that signal to honor all of those lives that were lost during the tragic events of September 11, 2001. Firefighter Donovan, please signal the alarm. Please, sir.
Order. Up. Thank you all for taking the time to attend the September 11th ceremony to remember all those lost as well as their families. This concludes our ceremony and thank you all for attending.